What is up, my veggies? My name is VTR, and welcome back to VTR's Creepy Frights. And I am joined by Tanner. Hello, I'm the reason this took forever. Um, but you may have noticed, like, why are you recording with this with your with your computer camera? It's not the best quality. Yes, I know. And I'd rather be filming it with my phone, but... Uh, this is all I can do it with Tan, Tan Man. I wouldn't let him film this without me. Oh yeah, he wouldn't. Cause so, uh, and it's it's not just because I we was gonna film this with him. This video took so long. It's just because I was lazy. I was supposed to do it the day after I went and watched it, but I was like, oh, I'm good. And then we were supposed to. It was the day me and Bentley went and watched it. Which is a friend of his. Yes. Um, but today we're going to be, going to be reviewing It Chapter 2. And how we're going to do this review is half video is going to be non-spoiler and the other half will be spoiler. So if you don't want any spoilers, just watch half of this video. I will try to make it uh, this video about 20 minutes long. So... I can get good watch time from whoever watches it if you want spoilers or whatever. <laughs> yes, give us your watch time. Okay, so let's go ahead and just talk about the movie in general. First of all, I just have to say, I liked it. <laughs> it was very good. I enjoyed it. Now, the movie did have its flaws. I'm not going to lie. It had a, I, okay, I can't lie. It had a lot of flaws. I do mean a lot. Like, it did have a lot of flaws. Ending's better, though. Um, and I've heard a lot of critics and stuff say a lot of stuff in this movie uh, that I don't think is the stuff that makes it bad, but there is some stuff. I can, I can see why some people say this is a bad movie. I can see why some people think that. I mean, I personally loved it, but again, I went with with a friend, so that was, that probably kind of made that that kind of made me a little bit biased. Well, so. the thing is with this uh with this movie, um, I I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and say the first one, and I still think the first one's better. Yeah, because one. Uh, one problem that this film does have is some people say it is too long, and I kind of do agree with that to an extent, because I do feel like some scenes do drag on too long. Um, but for the most part, the length doesn't bother me that much. But I, there was times where I like, looked down on my watch, was like, this movie's not over yet. I legit did do that like once or twice during the movie. But that doesn't necessarily mean that's a bad thing. Like I really didn't. It didn't bother me that the movie was really long. It's just, I'm like, wow, this is still going. That's kind of how I was with that. I knew the movie was almost three hours long going into it, but like, I thought with how long the movie was, it had better time to explain a couple things. Which there is some explaining in this movie, but th they could have elaborated on some more stuff, in my opinion. But I do get what they were going for. Want to add anything to that, Tanner? I like the fact that they pulled. Hey, don't, don't, don't! No spoiler yet. We got into the spoilers. No, no, this isn't a, this isn't a really spo This isn't really a spoiler. It's more like you know how Marvel does Stan Lee cameos. Ah. Uh, one for Stephen King. Stephen King should yeah. actually. Stephen King should just cameo in like every movie of that that's based off of his uh stuff. Yeah. And he was just a douche. <laughs> yeah, that was a, I loved how he much of a jerk he was in the movie. It was it was pretty funny. Um But let's talk about the characters. Um in my opinion, they're all casted perfectly. Yeah, I mean, personally I didn't care for Bill, but that's more I didn't care for his character in this movie. See, here's, here's the thing. Uh, the one, the, the one character that I did hear complaints about was uh, that wasn't casted well 
was Ben. And I do see the argument there, but me personally, that still, it felt like Ben to me still. Yeah. It yeah. felt like Ben. Notice I say felt. Now look. Uh-uh. No, but then again, they did want him to look completely different. The thing, if you look back at the mini series and look at the uh, one that played him as a kid and the one that played him as an adult, they look similar. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah. um, that that's 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 just me trying to nitpick. Like literally, Mike is. I like that Mike is actually given a lot more character in this movie than in the first one. Because Mike literally almost has, like, no character in the original. I mean, in the original, yeah. in the first one. Mike actually, like, managed to be a cool character in this one. And I do like that there's actually stuff. Well, let's keep, on the, let's keep with the characters. We'll get to that in a minute. Um, some things with these, uh, uh, Beverly was perfect casting, in my yeah. opinion. Like, that was like, these characters are believable. If you told me those were those care kids from the future, I'd believe you. <laughs> Richie, yeah. uh, Ben, uh, not Ben, uh, uh, even Stanley was well casted. And um, I'm not going to really, not really going to say much. He's not in the movie as much as the others. But that's all I'm gonna say on that note until we get to spoilers. If you've seen the miniseries, you've already read the book, or you've seen this movie, you know what I'm talking about. Yes. We'll get to that when we talk. We'll, we'll, we'll get. We'll we'll get to that when we get to spoilers. Now we got covers. We can't talk about characters without covering Pennywise himself. Still played perfectly by Bill Skarsgård. Now, I will say, he wa for some scenes, he wasn't as creepy as he was in the last one. I will say that. But... Well, that's because he was... Or just hungry. Because think about how the last one ended. Well, still, though, I don't... That's not no reason for him not to be as scary. That's no reason not to make him as scary. Now, don't get me wrong. I, some people say he wasn't scary at all in this movie. Don't get me wrong. He was. Don't get me wrong. But, like, he was nowhere near as scary as some of the scenes in the, origin, in the, in the last one. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I will say this, and this is just relating to the last one. I'm disappointed there wasn't a scene like the last one where he was, like, changing into, like, this monster in front of them and scaring the crap out of everybody. I'm a little disappointed there was no scene like that. But there was one scene that was really cool that I want to talk about in the spoiler section. Um, so, but Pennywise is... Now, this movie does have a lot less Pennywise. Not a lot less of the actual, uh... Entity that is Penty, Penty, Pennywise. Um, but there's a lot less the clown. Pennywise is a lot less of the clown. There's a lot more it and a lot less of Pennywise. Yes, because a lot of people forget that he's not a clown. That's just his favorite form. Yeah. Now, what I'm gonna say. Next, might be an unpopular opinion, but um, some people said, like, the fact that there was not as much Pennywise in it kind of ruined the movie for ruined the movie for them. For me, I would have maybe liked a little more Pennywise because that's really what draws people into these mo into this franchise. But the fact that there wasn't a bunch of um, Pennywise didn't bother me like, so, like I thought it would I thought I was going to walk out of that movie going wow they barely used Pennywise they why even make this movie if they're going to barely show him that's what I thought I was going to walk out thinking because of the things I heard but knowing but then finding out what 
I did hear and stuff about the, and then I saw the movie itself, I was like, okay, I could have used more Pennywise in my opinion, but what we did get was good and legitimately some creepy scenes. I will not lie, there are some legit creepy scenes in this movie with Pennywise. And some creepy scenes where he does like something else. <coughs> You want to add anything? Um, for me, I didn't even realize that there was less Pennywise at first because I was more invested in the characters than I was the actual like main story of the of the movie because it's written fairly well. So. I uh, personally really enjoyed the story. Now here's one problem. I can I think this movie probably had a smaller budget than the first one because you can see some of the CGI is not that good. You you've got you've got to admit that. Yeah. And the mo the moment where it's actually really obvious in my opinion is one scene where they're uh the 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 dinner scene you'll know what I'm talking about you know what I'm talking about the dinner scene uh, with that yeah. part that's obvious that is some bad CG not bad but not good CGI it's fairly decent yeah it's not believable in the slightest most of the CGI in this movie does not look as good as it did in the first one. Now, don't get me wrong. In the first one, there were a couple scenes where CGI, it looked pretty fake. But not to the extent that it does in this one. Anything you want to add to that, Tanner? No, you're spot on. I mean... There was some good CGI every once in a while, but then there was also a lot of bad. See, and one, even though I love the, the final act of this movie, but you can tell the CGI looks cheaper in that big final scene. It looks cool. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. It looks cool. But it's, yeah. just the, it's just the fact that it doesn't look like... You know, it doesn't look like it should be how it is, if, you get, if that makes sense. Yeah. Um, I'm trying so hard not to spoil things. I'm trying to think of a few more things we can say without spoiling. Um, a lot of people... Uh, I'm trying to think... The scares, yeah, those, the scares were pretty... Almost non-existent for some part. There was a few more. I did actually... This one actually surprisingly made me jump more than the first one did. Yeah, the first one had one thing that, like, legitimately made me jump and was, like, creepy to me. And it was the flute player that was in the painting. And that's just because that was disturbing. But, like, literally, there was, that was some... That was, like, legitimately, legitimately, like... Like in the original, I had seen there were scenes in the movie where I was like grabbing my chair and I was like, "Oh!" But there wasn't nothing that was like, "Ha!" Ah! But that was like, but this one. And normally I'm like, "Oh, yay, a jump scare!" But these jump scares, I feel like these jump scares are pretty effective. That's literally where the main scares come from, though. With this movie, is jump scares. Yes. Like it, it doesn't do very well. I don't really feel like they tried to build up much atmosphere, like creepy, creepy atmosphere. Like the last horror movie I reviewed on this channel, which was uh, Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark, that actually built up some atmosphere. Now I'm not. Don't think I'm criticizing this movie, like saying bad things. This isn't, I'm not telling me bad. Just know I consider myself to be a critic, and I do have to look at things from a critical perspective every once in a while. But there is some stuff that's not good about this movie. But the most part, it's rather enjoyable. Anything you want to add before we get to spoiler territory? Yeah. Um, there was one scene that I was very excited about. Because I'm like, oh, it was in the book. And it was silly in the book. But I was very excited about it. Because, hold on, copyrighted music, yay, copyrighted music.
copyrighted music. We're recording. Please stop. <laughs> they, they can't hear it. They can't hear it. Because I can't hear it. I was, I was speaking over it. You definitely would have heard it. Oh, okay. Back to you were saying? Um, anyway. There was a scene that was silly in the book. And I really enjoyed what they did in the movie. Because when the scene came up, I'm like, okay. They're building up to this scene. It's going to be goofy. You know? This is going to be one of those scenes, like, dancing scene from the first one. <laughs> okay. But no. The scene made, my, like, it made my heart skip a beat because it surprised me that it was actually disturbing. Now, one thing I want to point out about this movie is the fact that, from what I know, a lot was changed from the book. A lot was taken out. And retconned, a lot of stuff was retconned in this movie. Like, just like, hey, forget what it was said in the book about this, because we're saying this. Basically. Yeah. Can, can this be the first topic we cover in the spoiler territory? Yeah, we'll get to that in a minute. Well, let me finish this. Okay, cool, because I want to say something about that. Like, they, and they, they, they added some a lot of their own stuff. Yes, and I very much enjoyed what they added. Okay, so, much so before we continue on to spoiler territory, I'm going to go ahead and give my rating. Now, this is really hard to rate because I don't know what... I didn't love this movie. I cannot lie. I did really, really like it, but I can't say, oh, best movie, 2019. Best movie. Love it. Best movie I've ever seen. No, I can't say that. It's not the best movie of the year, in my opinion. And that's a little yeah. upsetting, because it was one of my highest anticipated movies of this year. So that's a little disappointing, to be honest. But I can't, I don't, don't, didn't really have any real disappointments with the movie, though. So I guess, I'm, to, I, I, I'm going to give it, oh my goodness, this is hard. Go ahead and give it your rating out of five. Uh, probably a four out of five, if not five out of five. I really enjoyed it. I'm I'm torn between giving it a four and a half, not a four and a half, a three and a half, and a or a four. Okay, I'm gonna give it a very high three and a half, a very high, like just getting close to hitting the four, but it's but we're not there yet. I'm giving mine a four and a half. Cause I I, I, I bias. Well, yeah, I, I just. I don't love this movie like I thought I was going to, even though I did really like it. Um, so, if you stuck to this long in the video, that means you want spoilers. So, if you're still here and you don't want spoilers, leave the video now. I guarantee there's a there's a, a Let's Play or a reaction you can go watch. Um, but... Now that we're done with that, Eddie dies. Why did you just start off with that? Uh, because I want to screw over anyone who was stupid enough to stay this long. Now leave. You couldn't have given him a minor spoiler? No, they're getting the big spoiler. Well, then, if you've read the book or seen the miniseries, you already know that. Wrists in the bathtub. That that happens in the book and the mini series. Yeah, no. You said minor spoilers. There you go. But you already gave the big spoiler. Well, it was in the book as well. I'm not too new stuff. Okay, let's talk about what was added. Okay, can I talk about my favorite scene? We'll let Tanner go first. The Paul Bunyan. I love it. That is that is my favorite scene in the movie. Yes, the Paul Bunyan scene, I'm going to talk about this a little bit. Oh, wait. Oh, crap. There's something I forgot to mention in the non-spoiler part that I needed to mention in the non-spoiler part. Jump cut. Uh, I'm not. Okay, hi, guys. This is, this is a jump cut. Um, 
Yeah, I'm not yeah. doing that. I'm just gonna mention it here. Oh. Okay, well. Well, one second. We'll get we'll get back to uh Paul Bunyan in a minute. Um. I don't know if anyone was able to notice, but I was a, I could tell there was a big problem with the flashback scenes in this movie. I think Tanner knows exactly where I'm going with this. I think so. They they CGI'd the kids' faces oh, yeah. to make them look younger, and on some of them, it's not terrible. Oh yeah, Ben was. It looked terrible on Ben. I'm sorry, it looked terrible on Ben. But like, it, it didn't like. It's cause the fact. It's cause the it fact that the it. actor that plays Ben has lost so much weight, and when you try to see John fat onto a human body, it looks weird. Yeah. Like. For everyone else, it worked fine. You know. It's it still, in some places, it looked weird. Yeah, but, like, I didn't really have any problems with the CGI that they did for the kids. One thing like, that was, that I did, that, 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 that well, I didn't notice it, but then I actually thought about it after I left the movie, but then I was like, the voices were a little altered slightly, a little bit, and it's, it's kind of, and if you think about it, it is noticeable, but, like, if you're not thinking about it, you probably won't notice it. But I did. Um, well, I wasn't thinking about it from an objective standpoint when I was watching the movie. Um, but back to what I was saying about, about the CGI. Um, it does, with Bill, it looks really weird. Uh, just because his voice sounds very... Very different. They didn't, it doesn't even something they tried to alter his. And also, the dude's freakishly taller. Yeah. Keep in mind, these movies are have, were made two years apart. So, yeah. Yeah, so I don't know why they didn't try to. I guess CGIing his height would have been weird. But most, but most of everyone, like, the one part that bothered me about Richie with the CGI was his glasses looked weird, but that was it. Like, his eyes looked abnormally big, even for someone wearing glasses. Yeah. But that's really all my complaints about the CGI. I didn't have no complaints about Stan. No. Now, there is one scene that's in the movie that I, we're starting to not spoil the territory, uh, in the flashback. Where it's uh, where it's the same scene you see from the original with them fighting, like after getting out of the the house. But honestly, I could not tell, and this is not a good thing for me saying this. I could not tell if that was reshot or if that was just reused. It was very much reshot. I watched it. I watched them both back to back. Like, literally within an hour of each other. See, but that's the fact. That's the fact that I couldn't tell. I just a general audience person going could not tell. And someone who looked for those details and I couldn't tell. That's not good. If I can't tell that if, if, if you reshot something or not. Now, if it was animation or it was, and I couldn't tell if it was reanimated or not, that's a different story. But that's a video for another day. Um, but let's get back to talking about Paul Bunyan. <laughs> oh, yeah. The Paul Bunyan scene is definitely one thing that actually stood out to me in the trailer. I was like, oh, I remember, no, I never read the book, but I was like, I remember hearing that about that in the book. Yeah, and like in the book, even though it's meant to be scary, it's a little bit goofy to me. Oh, it wasn't. It was the only part. The, the only part that was funny with the uh, with the Paul Bunyan was like before it was even Paul Bunyan chasing him. It was when like Pennywise was going, "I know your dirty little secret." Yeah, and also you deny the fact that it's a thing. I'm angry. Um. 
But the fact that 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 was a cool scene though, I cannot lie. Now I want to get into I wanted to get uh, to get into the backstory of Pennywise that they tried to go through with this movie. One, they didn't go too much into it, obviously, because a bunch of people who don't know the stuff about the freaking turtle and all that would have been, huh? The average moviegoer would have been so confused, like. What are you talking about? Turtle? What? What turtle? Wouldn't that? That's how they would be. They'd be so confused. Like, wait, what turtle? Oh, I, I love that. I love, I love the reveal of the ritual of shoot. On top of the fact that they just drug Bill. Yeah, and he didn't have to drug any of the others to tell him about it. <laughs> no. Drug. By the way, if you guys didn't know, okay, well, you want to know something? You, had, you want to know something that was a bad idea for me to why? Why was a bad idea for me to do this review today? Why? Because the nostalgia critic just released his review on this today. Oof. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even know that. So. I I watched it earlier. <laughs> wow. Well. All right, let's move on from Paul Bunyan. No, I don't want to move on from Paul Bunyan. Paul Bunyan was my favorite scene. Excuse me, fat boy. I was actually legit surprised that that came back up in this. I thought that was going to be left out. I'm not going to lie. Also, I'm happy that, that Bev said beep, beep, Richie. Yeah. Like, they said that in the, they said that in the last they said that in the last one too though. No, the only person that said in the last one was Pennywise. Yeah, I know. But Bev said it in this one. I'm like, oh, yay! Here, here we go. Speaking of Bev, there is a, ba a, a flashback scene that gives us a little bit more about her relationship with her father, which I did really like. Yeah. The fact that it really creeped me out and made me feel uncomfortable watching that scene, but I don't know in the book, and Tanner can correct me if it is or not, because I know in the movie there's physical abuse, but I, it's, I don't. It's kind of hinted that there's also sexual abuse. I don't know if that is in the book or not. If it is, Tanner, tell me if it is or not. I do believe there was. Like, it's like, is it the same like in the book and the miniseries is like hinted, but it's not stated? Uh, I, I can't remember. That's probably how it is, huh? That's what you would guess. Is knowing Stephen King, in the book there's literal child porn. Okay, let's not bring that up. Let's not bring that up. Um, but, but, it, like, that scene literally legit makes me uncomfortable, because at first, she's, he's yelling at her daughter, and being like, you're the reason your mom left, and blah, 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 and am I the only one that thought that felt cliche? Like, you're the reason she left, you're the reason. I cannot be the only one that thought that was cliche, I cannot be the only one. I'm like, like, you chose the most generic line from a freaking abusive relationship with a father and a child. The most, yeah. Bothers me just, just, just slightly. Just, just bothers me a little bit. Yeah. Uh, what else can we talk about? I like the fact that they made fun of the fact that Bill couldn't write a good ending. That was um, fun. I like that. I'm yeah. well. Yeah, in, in the in the in the mini series, they also kind of had something like that, but that was just the fact that he couldn't come up with an ending. Yeah. No. The reason they were saying, "Oh, it's a bad ending." Oh yeah, because it's it's hinting at how a lot of Stephen King's books have like depressing endings. Yeah, and like a lot of people can, can, a lot of people can. What is the part of it that everyone criticizes in the book? 
book is the ending. The ending is not the greatest. But one thing I really do... Now, here's one thing I do... I don't... One thing I really, really, really despised with the last movie was the fact that they would try to build something with Bev and uh, Bill. And I get it's supposed to be a misunderstanding and all that. But the fact is, at the end of the freaking first movie, Bev realizes, you you cannot tell me she did not realize that Ben realized that freaking thing was her, was from Ben, and then then it turns out she didn't find out which one of them did it until this movie. Because you... when she when Ben kisses her, they recite the poem back to each other. Well, you gotta remember amnesia. But when the, we started getting all that stuff, all those memories all would, have, would have already been back by that point. Yeah. So you gotta admit that was kind of bad writing on their part. Yeah, that's the only criticism that I went out of the theater and really had. Was- Oh yeah, and them trying to, and the whole time it was a whole. They had a whole. Oh, is she gonna be with Ben? Oh, is she gonna be with Bill? I'm like, uh, I don't care. The fact that they tried to do something with Bill is dumb. Like in the mini series, it's like, hey, she thinks it's Bill, but it's only slightly there. It's not like freaking how it is in this, where they're like, they put a lot of emphasis on it that it might be Bill. Now, if they did that and we didn't know, and it was written in the way like we don't know who wrote the letter, it, that would make some sense. Yeah, but like, if you know it's been, like, that hurts. Okay. Another thing I want to talk about is the time period this takes place in. So y'all already know that it took place in the 80s in the original, in the, in the last movie. They changed it because in the original, the first one it took place in the 60s? I think so. Yeah. And they changed it to the 80s, so that means 27 years later, that's 2016. So the movie takes place in 2016, um, which actually surprised me because I – but the fact is, I didn't at first because I forgot about the whole twenty-seven years thing. But then it clicked with me halfway through the movie. I was like, "Whoa, they have smart a smartphone? Wait, what year did this movie take place?" Yeah. Also, the fact that they included the scene where they beat a gay man to like near death and then throw him in the river. That that was I will say on that that was kind of I know that's in the book. But but na- but the uh, that it makes sense in the book because of the time period it makes it in. Yeah. But now that it takes place in 2016, now I'm not going to get into all that. We're not going to get into all that. Uh, what we think about all that stuff. Okay, we're not getting into all that because that's just something that you're not going to get into all that. But what I'm saying is that stuff is more accepted than now. That that's more accepted nowadays than it was back then. So it made sense for that to be in the book back then, because that take, put, took place, like, what? the Like, about, like, late 90s, like, like, the late 80s in the, uh, yeah. in the original. So, and that's still understandable that that's, it's not as accept it wasn't really as accepted as, as it was back then and as it is now. So, with it being this way, one, those guys should be arrested for, uh, for assault and hate crime. Yeah. But that was a little that was a little mini rant. I don't know why I went off on that. And I do get it because some people that that probably at first I was like when because I forgot that they said those characters were gonna that character with that scene was gonna be in the movie. So when it started out with that, I was like, who who are these two characters? And then they t- turned out. Then I was like, oh okay, it's this, it's this. So I was I was confused by that at first when I first watched the movie. Yeah, it, I was confused about like, oh wait, hold on. Who were you? On? I I purposefully avoided everything past the first trailer because I didn't want any spoilers. One and, thing I do like a lot though about this movie is the fact that this the little girl that that uh dies later in the film, um, 
she actually is there at the beginning at the carnival. I do like that. I do like that she's like shows up uh, a little bit before she actually. I do like that. And I did see some criticism to the movies, like, hey, why are we putting emphasis on these kids? Um, that that has no connection to the main characters. But I'm, I'm like sitting there. Why are you saying that? Pennywise is just feeding. You don't complain about in a slasher movie where Jason just offs in like Friday the Thirteenth when Jason just offs some random character. That's just because he's Jason. He kills people. Same thing with uh Pennywise. He's evil. He's feeding. He needs to eat. Yeah, and they were and that led to Mike finding all the bodies, like calling everybody back. Well, what triggered my calling everybody back was the beginning death. Yeah. Which like, also is crazy because, because I don't know in the book if the, 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 that that guy gets killed in the book by Pennywise, um, but the fact that the you know because like Pennywise would really just with the original I know in the original he really didn't attack adults he more like tormented them if that makes sense. No, he straight up attacked them. I'm talking about in the miniseries. Oh, in the miniseries, yeah. They more, he more, like, toyed with them and everything. He's, like, trying to scare them, butter them up. Add that little bit of seasoning. <laughs> That's actually how he describes it. I know. Um, and just a, just a lot of this movie is, is interesting, and it's... There's just, I don't know where else, what else we can even talk, is there anything else we can even talk about? I don't even know what else to talk about at this point. Richie and Eddie. <laughs> yeah. The, oh, we didn't talk about the final fight. Oh, I was about to end of the video, we didn't talk about the final fight. Yeah. So you know how dumb the final fight was in the miniseries? It was actually good this time. I loved that fight. Now, a lot, like I said, a lot of people had complaints about it because they thought it looked so bad it was funny. And I do get where some people, was, some people see that. I do get that. Because, like, sometimes some effects can look so bad, it's funny. For me, though, in this situation, that wasn't the situation in my eyes. Uh, it, looked, it didn't look great. The CGI didn't look great. Like, especially when Pennywise was holding uh, Eddie in his hand. Was that Eddie or Richie? Uh, it was one of them two. Um, that looked fake as, as... I know that the deadlight was Richie. I'm saying he was hold, but he was hold. no. Oh, that was hilarious, though, when the uh, deadlights, when he, the deadlights first caught Richie. It was, that was hilarious. Yeah. Cause they, like, he was like, he was like, he was like, don't look. He went, Duh. he just like went, Duh. <laughs> that was funny. Cause when Beverly got, got caught by the deadlights, it was just so majestic and everything. With with him, he was all, Duh. yeah. That legit made me laugh. Richie. It was very much something that you would just expect from Richie. Okay, so the big fight is really big. I li I do like that Pennywise doesn't turn full spider. Yeah. I do like that he doesn't turn full spider because that just would have been like, really? Y'all are going to do this to me? And guess what, Tanner? Didn't I call that? Remember I called that months back, but that's how his final form was going to be in the movie? Like, that's how his final form was going to be. Yeah. Didn't I call... I called that months back before any trailer was released. or I think I called, I called it a year ago. Probably about a year ago. I was like, that's going to be the final form in the next movie. Didn't I say that? Yeah. And that was over... That was like a year ago. So, I called that. I wish I had me calling that on video. I might have it on video. I don't know. But I'm not sure there's there anything else to talk about. The ending rounded up. Well, oh, no, the Stanley uh, suicide letter. Yeah. That actually I did like because they in the original, and I do believe in the book as well, in the, um, they made it, uh, it was, he just basically just killed himself just because he didn't, so he didn't have to go back and 
mess with this thing. But in yeah. in this movie, he had a reason for killing himself. Now you could argue that it was the writers trying to justify something dumb, but I'm not gonna get into all that. I actually kind of liked the fact that he's like, "Hey, y'all couldn't do this with me a lot. With me alive, y'all had to have some motivation or something like that." I don't remember exactly what the stuff said, but it's like, "Hey, this needed to happen so y'all could succeed." Yeah, which I really did like that. Also, there's another thing I'd like to point out. The Ritual of Chu. I've, I've mentioned it a couple times, and we just haven't talked about it. Yeah, a lot of people had that whole pr- a problem with them having to go find something from their past. A lot of people had that problem. No, that's not the problem I had. I, no, I'm, I'm saying some people I had... had no, well, I'm saying some people had the problem with people going... Oh, we gotta go on a quest to find this stuff from our childhood. A lot of people had a problem with that, and I do see why they had a problem with that. But then again, it doesn't bother me that much. Yeah. For me, I I just like the fact that they do it, and it's like, oh, it didn't work the first time. And, you know... It's like this entire time, Mike was hiding the fact that he didn't know if it was going to work. Yeah, and I, I can't lie. When they actually finally defeat Pennywise, it is a little cringy. I can't lie. The way he shrivels up. The only thing I could think of there was Kato wins. Oh my goodness, I didn't realize they did that. They got his heart out in the original as well. I did I didn't realize that. Okay, that was some continuity for you. I like that. I like that little detail. Here's the thing though. I'm gonna do a whole video about what I'm about to say, but this is a theory I have, and Tanner might want to buckle up for this because you're gonna be like, what? Pennywise, I don't think Pennywise is dead. Do you know why I think that? Why? Because I, like a smart movie goer, didn't leave once the credits started rolling. Well, I had somewhere to be. I'm not talking about you. I was looking at the camera when I said that. Now, there wasn't an after credit scene. There was something in the credits. Pennywise laughing. Now, you could just argue that that's just a way to make it creepy. But I, if Marvel movies have taught me anything, little details like that do not need to go unnoticed. And they even talked about before this movie even got a release that they, have, they possibly might want to make a third. It chapter three. So, and with that, they would have complete freedom to do whatever they wanted with that because there's no source material to follow up with that. They better include the scene where Pennywise eats a baby. Oh, 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 oh God. Oh, that got dark. What? Well, that's really he's all. Babies. These children, babies are easy to terrify. Think about that, like. So, but that that's babies. really that's really all we have to say for this this video. But actually, this video was almost fifty minutes long. Richie was my favorite character. So, any closing statements you want to bring out before I wrap up the video, Tan Man? Rip Eddie. That's it? No final complaints, no final criticisms, no final thoughts? I thought it was a really fun movie, and I'm glad I got to go see it. And I do want to say this. If you get the opportunity to see this in theaters, do it. 
for that yeah. ju just for that final fight scene alone. Like if they just if they just released that like, as a short film in the last thirty minutes of this movie, I would have went and bought a ticket to that. Because <laughs> that was just a cool fight. Yeah. If I went to go to the movies and I wanted to go see It Chapter Two again, they said the only showing that's left is this one, and it's only got the movie's been going on for a while, and it's only got thirty, it's only got like about thirty minutes left in the movie. I'm like, give me a ticket, I'll go watch that last awesome thirty minutes. Yeah, because that was that's how good the actual that ending is. Now I could do without the strobe lights. But I do get what they were doing because, like, the, I do feel like, like the CGI was cheap looking. They were probably trying to hide that as much as they could. <laughs> yeah. But that's what I got to say to this video, guys. Uh, Tanner, is that you got all your final statements? You got all your final statements out? I ship Richie and Eddie. Okay. Um, but, guys, I hope you guys. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. It is hot in this house, and I need to turn on my air conditioners. Bye!